Hi guys, it's Andy from Howell Film here, the lead filmmaker for the video production company based uh, in the Northeast. And basically what I'm doing here today is I'm just going to show you what comes with the Atomos Ninja uh, V or 5 if you will. Uh, I'm not sure on the uh, exact appropriate term that they like to use. But basically, um, we shoot on Panasonic GH5s and one of the key things really uh, is that this unlocks the best uh, kind of capability out of your recording formats for the camera um, and obviously avoids some of the compression uh, from the internal components of your camera when you're doing your filming as well. So uh, I'm going to take you through just a couple of bits to know um, pre-purchase about what you'd have to kind of make sure that you've got before or while you're purchasing one of these and the key really here uh, is that the reason that I kind of am a fan of it uh, is that you know it, it just it gives you so much more capabilities from the camera as well as uh, if you're not too concerned about data storage uh, gives you a really really clean codec with the ProRes which uh, then when we put it through the Apple uh, Apple iMac upstairs it just it you know because it's an Apple codec it just it just works with it really nicely so without further ado what we'll do is we'll open it here so as you can probably see uh, from the actual box there if I just slide it down so in here you've got uh, it, it doesn't have a lock or a locker mechanism it's literally just two uh, little magnets there which just basically seal it on the front so if you're transporting it or traveling with it remember it doesn't lock so you just want to make sure that basically uh, it, it's always secure you know, it's a nice box as well so it's easy to use um, obviously this is all kind of padded but first things first you've got your quick start guide in here which is obviously handy for, for those who've never used one before um, and that'll have kind of the relevant information that you need to get it started but if you're just looking for something kind of quick and easy to, to follow uh, hopefully this will this will do that to kind of do the trick for you so obviously they've, they've got a little bit of uh, kind of info on the front on there but if you just lift this out so that is it that is your um, that is the actual device itself as you can see the power button the mic line the headphone the remote it's got an HDMI in an HDMI out it's got the SSD slot which goes in there for recording on SSDs and it's got uh, battery position there as well. We'll go on to this uh, in a bit just where we'll talk a bit more about recording onto the actual device but for the meantime that is your Ninja right there. Okay so obviously this bit lifts out as well so you just want to just kind of it's <laughs> it's one of the the more faffy bits as it were so you just want to lift that out you know obviously if you're storing it just place it back in for the time being now what you've got here is you've got two little compartments. The one on the left has in it, just take that out. So in here, there we go. So as you can see, it's uh, basically, this is for the mains. So that obviously just slides straight into the two pin connector. That just slots in and we'll show you the mains cable in a second, but that basically goes in to the back here. So I'll just pop that there for a second and I'll show you, get the thing out, there we go. So this, obviously always look for your pins, but if you're operating on the mains, just make sure that when you go to put it in, it's not catching, so you can see it's catching a little bit there. So just make sure you align it properly, push it, listen for the click, you clicked in, you can now run this off mains, which is great. Obviously release button there, so you press that in, don't, don't just try and pull it out, it'll not work. Uh, make sure you press the release button there. Let's just slide that back in there for the time being. This obviously just sits, we've got a nice little bag there. This, this comes with this by the way, that's not like a little bag that we've bought for it or anything like that, that just sits in there. Then you open up in here, that is the actual uh, mains right there. So that, that sits in there and that's got the mains in it. So as you can see, it's got the adapter again mains slides in you just look for the look for the alignment slide in listen for the click and once that's clicked you know it's locked it's going to be fine it's going to power and as you can see obviously from that bit before that just sits in there and make sure of, of course as well that's tight because the last thing you want is that if you're actually using the ninja to record 
uh, any kind of event or, or, or any kind of filming, the last thing you want is uh, for that for that to come loose. I would be amazed if you were using the mains as much as batteries, uh, just on the basis that you know when you're moving around filming. But but just just be aware of that. So actually, before I do that, just remember button, press in, and it'll just slide out. Okay. So I'll just pop that there for the time being. Just we've got that there. Now this is the next thing, which is arguably one of the most important. So don't worry, the screws don't come in like this. There, there is a bag uh, that comes with it, but obviously we normally keep an SSD in there pretty much at all times. So we don't actually uh, normally have to do this. I'm just doing this as a demo. So as you can see, it actually comes with the SSD casing. Uh, so, um, what I'll do is I'll put an SSD in here uh, in a second and you'll get a chance to kind of see that. Um, but yeah, basically as you can see it's got screw holes here and here. So you will need a screwdriver just for these. So, you know, as it's a little cross uh, cross heads. So just make sure when you do that, that you, when you screw it in, it's nice and securely fastened because you don't want this you know while you're recording you don't want that falling out so so that's a key thing there so that's pretty much it for the time being uh, i'll just pack, quickly pack everything away and then what i'll do is uh, i'll show you a bit really about kind of the accessories and the extra bits that you might need there so just make sure it's nice and securely fastened that just slides back in there there we go and that goes in like that and there you go. So that's basically everything that comes in with it. Um, as you can see, it's, it's, it's pretty much it's so easy to pack away, which is what I really like about it. Um, so, I, I, you know, when, when you're taking it anywhere, it's, it's really good for that. Uh, so what, a couple of things you might need. Um, so there it is. That's the battery. These are the batteries we use. It is a uh, MPF970, which you can actually find pretty much everywhere these days. Um, when we were using Blackmagic cinema cameras, um, our V-Lock solution, rather than having to kind of use a lot of cash for for getting V-Lock um, batteries all the time, you can get some of these uh, MPF970s. Tells you 7.2 volts, 6,600 uh, mAh. It's quite important to note on that because in the quick start guide in here, it'll actually tell you roughly how long those batteries will last for. So it'd be about two and a half hours on one of these, maybe two hours if then if they're kind of old and a bit knackered. You know, they don't they don't last forever. So uh, so it's always you know trying to maintain them and and if you can obviously get a decent uh, get a decent one to, to to run it off. But yeah, these ones also if you've got any. Um, CN lights, you know, the, the kind of commonplace LEDs you can get uh, places like eBay and Amazon, the Niwa ones as well, they all use the same batteries. So actually these are, you know, really, really handy to have uh, just anyway. But the great news is, is they go straight onto that with no conversion. You don't need to buy an adapter and it'll power it for a couple of hours, which is great. Next up, you will need a, uh, an SSD. So we've got the SanDisk, which is great. It's the Extreme Pro. So that'll sit in that casing. Uh, and basically all that means is that when you've got your casing on there, um, you, can, you can then use your, your Stardock cable that'll go with it. Uh, and you'll just need to make sure you get one of those, otherwise you kind of get them off the back of it. So obviously, as you can probably tell, <laughs> another component you will need is an HDMI cable. You definitely will need an HDMI cable. Um, there is literally no other way to connect it. It does not come with one. Um, now, obviously, depending on how you like to kind of run your rig, you can get the nice ones which um, are got like the swirls in, which makes it easier to, to, to kind of tuck away and stuff like that. This is obviously a pretty solid cable, so we wouldn't necessarily use this on every gig, um, but, it, but it does come in handy just having uh, several HDMI cables, even if you've got one which is not the most expensive, but I would always say just, just make sure you've got more than one of these on your shoot because HDMI cables break pretty easily when they go under any kind of stress or strain. So always, always take maybe one or two, uh, or if you can, three, just so you've got them. And finally, we've got the USB uh, transfer cable. It's USB 3, so it's relatively quick. It's got the SSD on the other side. And basically all it does is, you know, you've probably done it a million times if you use the tech, but there you go, it just sits in like that. 
Okay, so, so basically they're, they're the bare minimum components you need to get the actual thing operating. Now, where the challenge comes in, uh, realistically with any kind of kit that you're gonna mount on the camera. The Atomos Ninja does not come with any mounting device, so actually you've got no way to actually mount it to the camera until you order one of the corresponding bits you'll need for it. But the thing really to remember here is, um, is that you'll probably need something like a cage just so it's got something to really easily secure it onto. Um, that and I would always say as well a magic arm. So a magic arm is just something where you basically you can lock it so you can move it around in different positions. Um, I, you know, I, you can't you can't really just handhold this thing while you're trying to operate. I mean, you can, but you know, it's it, it becomes a, a measured kind of difficult thing. You, you want at least you know hands free during time. So always recommend getting a magic arm and a cage for something like the GH5 or indeed the Black Magic, just so that you know you can mount it uh, onto something that is is going to basically keep it so you can move it around and, and have like a really good viewfinder. So one of the key things really that I really like this for um, is the number of settings that you can get into using with it. So uh, I'll boot it up in a second and you'll get a chance to have a look at that. Okay, uh, so as you can see, we've, we've just got the case for the SSD here, uh, the four screws, um, and of course the uh, Atomos Ninja 5 as well, the Ninja V, whatever you want to call it. So basically, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly show you how this wants to go in. So take your SSD there, and you see it's literally, it's, it's just going to, it's got a mounting point there, so you can probably hopefully see that, and that literally just make sure that that goes in like that, and then that goes in on top like that. And now you've got your case all sorted, perfect. So now you've got your SSD, uh, that's actually caged in there now, so you can see it's got the connector in there. Uh, so that's all on there. The great news is, is with this as well, you actually can literally just do that, so you actually don't even need to worry uh, about taking it out and, and you know, uh, having to take it out of the case every time, I guess, is the best way to put it. So, so that's good. That's all good. Next up, uh, so let's let's see how it fits. So let's just take that out. So you can see here, always make sure that connects and corresponds. So you've got your three, I call it a three and a five, basically. So a three and a five. That's just how I like to call it. That's not an appropriate term. Now this has got a slider in it, so you can see you just like that. Now, one thing to remember is while this is now in, which is great and everything, it hangs out. So you can't do anything about that uh, hanging, hanging out, unfortunately. So always just be aware that that's, that's kind of there um, and, and that that is, that is kind of how it'll sit. It won't come loose normally. Um, if it comes loose, you've got a problem right there. <laughs> So, but I mean, you know, I'm only lightly pulling on that, but I'm not getting any, any problems whatsoever. So that's the SSD in now. So as you can see here, we've got the F970, which is great. So I'm just gonna put it in there just for a second, just to show you that. So two pins, as you can see, the two pins are there. You just have to make sure that goes in like that. Look for the click. If you're worried, just make sure the alignment's there. You can always check to make sure your alignment's good. Uh, and basically that means your battery is on, okay? Okay, so let's just pop the SSD back in now. Just make sure that all aligns. Okay, so that is how it's gonna look. So it's a bit bulky, uh, but it's, it is worth it. Now, as you can see, it's got a small tab there, uh, and all we're gonna do is just peel that off, pop that there, power button on the side, all traditional power buttons, down and we are starting up and that is how quickly it starts up you've got a pretty straightforward menu system in there where you've got your input your output your record your file your meters you can slide it with your your thumb your fingers whatever audio media time code uh, date battery atom x which is obviously uh, your modules there and then just your info so so really i mean that's it in a nutshell Obviously, when you get some footage loaded on there, you've got your playback. Um, obviously, there's nothing on here at the moment, so you're not going to get anything with that. Just press the record button to get out of that. 
We came from Black Magics originally over to Panasonic GH5, so it's great to be able to film in ProRes HQ again. Uh, just the data, the, the, the file sizes of the data are going to be enormous, so just bear that in mind. You're not going to be able to, if you're on your GH5 for example, it's not, it's not like getting your 4K hour and a half on 64 gig, that is just not going to happen. So just bear in mind storage becomes much more of a bigger thing. Um, but hopefully that, uh, that's given you an idea of how it all goes together. So um, if, you've, if you've got any questions, fire away and I'm sure we can help you in some regard. So thanks for watching and take care.